manager. Mark, did you hear that? They're offering you a manager role. They're offering it to you, Sway. <laughs> Eggs. Well, something, boys, and welcome to a brand new series called Mud Champions Final 15 Episode 1 Episode. Yeah. Happy Monday, bros, and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking, Zway, uh, do something Foot Champions related, uh, but not exactly what you did before when I, I would used to upload on Sunday or Monday. I would upload like the last four, uh, the last four matches, and show you guys how I finished in Weekend League, and I did that live comms, which is really exciting, and that's how I prefer to play FIFA. It's very, very intense. You guys love that sort of gameplay, but some of you guys were like, you know what? Try something a little bit different, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing with Foot Champions Final 15. What I'm going to do in this episode, and it's going to be a long one, so you guys have to strap in. We are going to be post comming the final 15 matches of my weekend league. You're going to see me start off at 15 and 10, went on a horrible, horrible streak, started off, uh, started off pretty solid at 4 and 1, and then went on like a, it was like I would win one, then I would lose two. I would win one, then I would lose three. And I just sort of stopped and uh, ended up on 15 and 10. But that's where I picked this up. And I decided on the series because, for well, actually for a few reasons. A lot of you guys were like, Zway, start a series on the channel. And I was planning on doing Ultimate World League, which was going to be a road to glory. However, Bateson invited me to Fatal, which starts this Saturday. So that's going to be a series uh, that's going to be on the channel. And that's going to be two times a week. So I sort of don't want to upload both Fatal, which is two episodes, and then also um, and then also run the Ultimate World League, which would be two episodes. So four out of the seven uploads in the week would be series, and I don't want to do that because I do like to do my player featurettes, pack openings, and drafts, and that sort of thing. So I think this is going to bring a nice little variety to the channel. Every uh, every Monday I could do this, and if you guys do want to see it, if you guys do enjoy this style of video, um, let me know in the comments section below. Let's try and aim for like, I guess a crazy like target. I don't think I've ever, well I've gotten 20,000 likes on a video. What if we aim for something like 15,000 likes if you guys want to see this every Monday. Foot Champions Final 15 post comm and if I'm getting a little better at the game, maybe I'll do it live comm. So maybe you just give me general uh, ideas as to how the series could be a little bit better. But as you guys can see around me, um, wait this is embarrassing, I'm supposed to have like a cool backdrop right now. Welcome office bros but anyway boys like i said we would upload this every monday and it would be showcasing the final 15 the most intense foot champion matches because that is the home stretch that is when you get some uh sense of how you're gonna finish we finished with 25 wins good for gold one last week uh showed you guys my final match which really is a lot of the comments in that video were like sway you showed us the last match of your foot champions runs show us a little bit more so that is exactly what inspired this series as well but uh, like I said before, let me know in the comment section below of a way I can prove this. If there's something else you guys would like to see uh, with a Foot Champions run, you guys can let me know in the comment section below. But like I said, I play 40 matches per week, so I figured let's try and figure out a way to get this in a video. Also because it's post commed it's a little bit more chill and allows me sort of to connect one-on-one -on -one with you guys and sort of tell you like what's going on and what I'm thinking behind the plays that are happening on screen and other stuff that's happening as well. Run in the same formation with Ronaldo and Bale up top, we've got Team of the Year uh, Suarez at Cam, his regular version was a beast for me as well and then we've got Kante we've got uh, Renato Sanchez and Vieira and then we've also got SBC Dembele who starts for us we've got inform Hector who is an absolute beast has been crazy scores a crazy crazy goal for us in this episode and then Boateng Smalling Walker and Neuer in net with Hazard and De Boina as my super subs as well without any further ado boys let's get into the game so match number one we're coming up against SBC player of the month Hyungman Son we've got Benzema we got Bale we got Kante Dembele and he's got himself a red inform. Anytime you come up against that, you get a little nervous. We are 15 and 10, and he goes up right away. That has been the theme of my foot champions. I, I always concede early. I, whatever it is, I always concede early. And then this match quickly turned pretty disgusting. Neuer making some pretty stupid decisions, even though I pulled him out there. Uh, didn't exactly know how to read it. At halftime, we've got two shots with Suarez, but we've got nothing to speak of for us. Not playing very well. Bale and Suarez trying to figure something out, trying to get something going. Two shots on target, one to on target for him, that's all he needed. And we just played, we just played really stupid. As you guys can see there, just probably the worst way, the probably the worst footage to start off showing you guys. Just going down 2-0 in a match. An absolute stupid, stupid mistake there, giving it to SBC Son, and he's not gonna miss that. Player of the month son. And then things just quickly escalated. 49th minute, Bale just tucks it away. The uh, the driven shot, which I actually turned up. Uh, which I actually incorporated in my gameplay late into this episode, which you guys will see, and finished a bunch of goals with Bale uh, just like that. But we were down 3-0, and it just does not feel good. It is the absolute shittest thing, but we did not rage quit. 53rd minute, we are running down with Ronaldo, and one thing I'm going to realize is, you, just in general, you're going to see a lot of goals like that in Weekend League. Running down the flank, 
and then sending it in the uh, the low driven and then just to finish with whoever. No one's gonna miss those opportunities. They go in nine times out of 10. A lot of times you're gonna see that. Suarez almost puts it in, uh, almost makes it 3-2. And then I think, nope, near post, uh, near post corner. And uh, yeah, that game just doesn't go our way. Match number two coming up against a 185 squad. He's got Inform 86 Salah, he's got Daibala, he's got Insigne, he's got the Snake Asamoa, and then he's got SBC Buffon, Popeyes FC, um, and one other thing, like, I'm actually watching these matches sort of for the first time, like, I edited these, but I didn't really pay attention, I just edited them, showed them the goals and the main plays, and we go up early, 1-0, uh, put it away. Not a low driven, but that's team of the uh, that's team of the year. Suarez just clinical as ever. And then we have a nice little fast break here with Ronaldo in the 31st minute. Scoot by that guy, and then finesse you right around Buffon. Good for a 2-0 victory. I don't think this guy rage quits. Do the uh, do the Ronaldo celebration. Suarez. Don't know how he put this one away, but he was just in the absolute worst position, and uh, he makes it 3-0. Again, not sure if this guy rage quit, but. The big, the big controversy in the community right now, not controversy, is some people think that Team of the Year cards are worth it, and some people think that they're not. In my opinion, especially in this match, Team of the Year Suarez, I think that's his hat trick right there, 4-0, or that actually might be goal number two, was incredible for me. Just on the fast break, that 93 pace, don't even have a chemistry style on him, and seemed absolutely rapid, and then I think this is it. This is just the nail in the coffin, 5-0, an absolute blast from, uh, from Suarissimo. Puts it top left hand corner and that's going to be game. Four goals from Suarez, one goal from Ronaldo, and then that is a 5-0 victory. I believe that brings us up to, well that, I mean if we start at 15 and 10 that brings us up to 16 wins. So we're inching closer to goal three. Match number three, we're coming up against Kohn uh, Podolski. He's not former teammate, but former team that Podolski played for. Coming up against Modeste, uh, coming up against Robin. And um, what actually happens here? Shit goal. You, dude, you just feel, I feel... Okay, I'll say this. I'll take any goal. When it comes to Weekend League, you're going to take any goal that you get because it's the most, it's the sweatiest, it's the most intense gameplay that you can have in FIFA. I know people say that Division 1 is very competitive, which it is, but Weekend League, nothing really compares. And then look at that blast. Team of the Year Suarez from some 30 yards out just rips one off the left post. Just a beauty past his keeper. That puts us up 2-0. Feeling pretty confident at this point. And, uh... At this point, I think I'm listening to the Tron soundtrack. Does Suarez put this one away as well? No, he almost does. Baron Leno, good keeper, but not good enough. 2-0, 45th minute. Stats are in my favor, and Modeste... Is that Latza? That's his Latza. Is that a red Latza? Puts it away, 2-1, 47th minute. And then he almost, uh, almost gets close. Uh, almost gets close there. Not sure why I included that in the gameplay. Modeste, uh, Forsberg... One of the beasts in the game in real life for uh, for Leipzig and in FIFA. He's got Royce and then Forsberg. I think Forsberg puts his bottom right. No? Good defensive play by me. Again, 15 matches is tough to keep track of. So this is sort of like a film study for me as well. No, he puts his away. Forsberg doesn't miss that. That is too easy for Forsberg. 82nd minute. Goes into pens. First one. Rip it with Hazard. Puts it away. And Hazard and, like I said, Hazard and De Bueno are my super subs. So they're playing uh, more often than not and going to be playing deep into pens. Uh, I save the second one, De Bruyne. Pretty sure I make this one as well. Yeah, sometimes I'll just go for that. Keepers will never save that one. I don't know why I, I, I do that all the time. Uh, I believe I go left here. Nope, I stay middle and I save it with Neuer. Felt really, really confident. I think things get a little bit crazy right here. Kante is not able to put it away. Leno's in the right place, stays middle, guesses correctly. And then I've got my, uh, he's got his Alves versus my Neuer. And then he just guesses correctly again, I guess incorrect. Uh, Ronaldo, please tell me Ronaldo makes this. I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah, Ronaldo makes that. No question about it. And then it gets really tense towards the end here. Penalties! Honestly, I wish I wish Weekend League matches didn't go to pens. I wish it was golden goal. I feel like that's a more truer way to decide uh, the winner in a Weekend League match. And I think this is the winner right here. I'm pretty sure. Do I make this with Sanchez for the win? Because I'm just envisioning. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And we get the win. Renato Sanchez doing his little duck step. Heading towards his teammates, and that's another thing EA have to fix is the, the celebration post pens. Like, no one ever seems happy when you win pens. Match number four, we are coming up against Purple Hazard, Purple Costa, and we are getting right into it. He's got his SBC Willian, a card that I didn't get, and he gets a header early in the game. Under four minutes, Diego Costa, not in China quite yet, playing really well for this guy, but if Costa uh, were to go to China, which 
Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. There was all rumors, it was all speculation. It was actually a back injury, which is why Costa didn't travel to Leicester. And Costa is obviously not in China in this match either. 2-0, he is up early in the seventh minute. I'm not gonna lie to you, when you have a few games left and you're strapped for time, you think about rage quitting in these situations. But it was early, 30-30 minutes, and uh, I did not give up. But I think something comes here. Ronaldo, almost with a crazy, crazy volley there. That would have been insane to put through. And we are just, we're not giving up. We are not giving up. Ronaldo, and that's, that's a weekend league goal. That is just your typical weekend league goal. Ronaldo and Bale, I think Bale is my top goal scorer in, uh, in weekend league. Try to do a little bit here with Ronaldo, but his smalling is up for the challenge. One question of the episode, boys. I play with smalling on 8 chem. Should I replace Neuer with De Gea in order to get him on 10? Or should I stay with Neuer and Boateng? I mean, I guess you guys will decide based on some of the, some of the plays that you guys see in this episode, but... Do let me know if you guys think I should go with that 2-1 victory for him, Chelsea FC. Deserved to win that game, to be honest with you. We are up to what looks to be, uh, what looks to be 17 wins. And, uh, oh shit. This was the crazy match. Wait, was this his... Wait, hold on, is that, is that Mertens? No, Immobile. This is the Inform Immobile match. Absolute insanity. I'm going down, and, uh... Don't get anything there, but I felt pretty good in this match. I felt like I definitely had chances. You know when you go down early, but you still have chance and you feel like you're you're in the game. That's exactly what happened here with Ronaldo. He slots it away, 33rd minute, the signature dance, and the match was actually pretty even up until halftime. Uh, going into the second half, this is actually kind of fun guessing what I'm gonna do. Low driven, this is when I started doing the low drivens. It's crazy to me that three months into FIFA, two and a half, three months into FIFA, I just now am picking up on the low drivens, which are so, so OP. I think we execute another one here with Suarez, or do we just blast it? Nope, that's a low driven. 3-1, things escalated pretty quickly there. Suarez uh, passes it up to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, a nice little move there. Not sure who that was. Sanchez, off to Bale, and I think this one's bottom right. You're not gonna miss. The low drivens do not miss. 4-1, two assists from Sanchez, one from Vieira, and then two goals for Bale coming up against Braithwaite, one of my favorite players in the game. He's got himself that inform Ben Yedder. No, dude, that's Ronaldo's bread and butter right there. The finesse from outside the box. Early on, when I'm getting my games and I try, I try that a lot. And more often than not, it converts and then low driven. Oh my god. Wait, this is the shit game, isn't it? No, this is the shit game! 90th minute! One nil loss in the 90th minute. I think that was his Ben Yedder. His Ben Yedder gets up on the thing. Yeah, he jumps up. How do you do that celebration? I would love to know how to do that celebration. Uh, we're still at 17 wins. And when you see, when you come up against a red second in form Ben Teke, sorry, actually that might be his third in form, and an 87 year old Royal Striker Drijs Mertens, you know you're in for a scary, scary match. Dembele, off to Vieira. Vieira, and then weekend league goal. I feel like I need a sound effect to signify the traditional weekend league goal, which is that one. Just the low driven goes in every time. And I think I tried the same thing here. Do we go up 2-0 in the seventh minute? No. We got close to it, though. Um, Dembele with the screamer! Shit. Dembele does score one for us later in the episode uh, from that distance. And just like that, I'm pretty sure this converts. No? No. Of course not. Um... Th that actually scared me. The, the ref blew it as soon as I passed it back. I thought it actually went in. Seven shot, six on target. Dominating. This guy only had one shot on target. And then he brings on his Sonaldo. Not, ver not sure what version of Son that was. But I don't think it matters because I'm pretty sure we slot this one away. Suarez hits the post. And we clear it there. That, another fluky little scare right there. Bring on Kante. If I'm up early in a game, or if I'm up, like, uh, in the 50th, 60th minute, I will bring on Kante in place of Dembele as that bulldog that really helps up and shores up the, um, the defensive line. And then this one has to go in. That is 2-0. And I'm not quite sure if that's matched, but it's 84th minute, so I'm pretty sure it is. So coming up against Larson, he's got Sanchez, he's got Coutinho, Mkhitaryan. By the way, Mkhitaryan, incredible for United. Uh, Martial. And also, this is my first ever postcom, so take it easy on me. Maybe rate my post comment abilities in the comment section below. Not exactly used to it. Go up 1-0 early in the game, under seven minutes. Gareth Bale, in that situation, he's gonna make it every time. Uh, does the big man dance. His Larson, Alexis Sanchez versus Renato Sanchez. Now, it's really interesting watching back. This is like the first time I'm actually analyzing the footage. Could have done more there. Coutinho, just an absolute blast. Nothing I really could have done there. Uh, Coutinho with the annoying dance. Bale and Vieira slots this. 
Viera freaking pops that one off the right post. Viera is not a player I'm going to replace. Pack pulled him in the first week, bringing on Conte uh, as that Bulldog in the 31st minute. Ronaldo running down the left. He has Suarez and Bale. He's got options, but Peter Cech is stopping that. The Suarez, no, this is Renato Sanchez's turn. The rip bottom left hand corner. Renato Sanchez, dead fish, 3-1. Still plenty of time left, so anything can happen. Suarezimo. Suarezimo has to put this away. Yes. Cool as a cucumber, boys. What would Marshall say? Touch perfect. 4-1. I think this guy rage quits for, uh, 61st minute. And I think this is victory number 19. Uh, look at that team effort. Goals from Sanchez, Vieira, Sanchez. Uh, goal from Sanchez, Suarez, Vieira, and Bale. 13 shots, 10 on target. Only one shot on target for him. One game away, I believe, from gold, uh, gold two. And then you come up against uh, 87. Third in form, Lukaku. Third in form, Christian Eriksen. And then Martial. Very scary looking side. Same as mine. Kante, Rooney, and then Dembele. He's got Winston Reed. Bale coming across the middle. Think this is almost a goal. Ronaldo just wide of the left post. Not able to do it. And another scare. Some, like, some of these decisions that the keepers make really, really make me scratch my head. And this has to be in. That has to be near post. Wow. Or uh, low driven, I should say. Suarez. And that is just... Again, I feel bad for scoring a goal like that. It goes off smalling. I see it. I see that happen like once every like five or six games. But when it does, you feel kind of shit, especially if it's going against you. But I will take it. Again, weekend league, you will score however you need to. Vieira, and then Ronaldo, low driven, has to go in. 2-0, 29th minute. And this was, I believe, the peak of my confidence. Like you, you string a couple wings together. Um, even if you go like 3-1 and one or 4-1, and one, you get a nice little streak going. You feel pretty good about yourself. And then... Who was that, Martial? No, Dembele. His Dembele brings you right back to reality. Makes you realize who you're playing. Oh shit, this was the Ericsson game. Wait, was this the crazy Ericsson game? I'm pretty sure it was. Hector! Hector with the screamer! Dude, inform Hector. Just a game changer. Now, I'm sure if I was using Alaba, he'd be, he'd pretty be, he'd be pretty beast for me as well. But I replaced Alaba just because he stayed up too far. But Hector has scored a couple of those for me. What an absolute pop. Puts it right past his keeper, 3-1, 45th minute. And does he get a 3-2 here? Walker, Decante, and then Ericsson. I think this was the crazy Ericsson match. And he dabs on me. The boy just dabs on me, boys. And again, my first ever post-com since Sway to Glory. And with Sway to Glory, I post com the beginning part of the uh, the episode, and then I live com the rest. But, uh, yeah, my first post com in quite some time, Vieira, 4-2, and I think I do get a rage quit here. Vieira, Sanchez, Ronaldo with an assist. And then goals from everyone. 21st win. Good for goal two. And I think we have something like nine games remaining. Again, you're going to have to forgive me. In the next episode, I'll do a lot better showing you exactly where I am. And I'll show you guys the foot champion screen with the wins and the amount of matches I have left remaining. Nangolan. That's just what Nangolan does. Monster. Monster, monster player. And I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I come up against guys wearing Juventus kit, I get nervous. Like, kit... Like, small things like that actually affect the way that I play, I think. But, like, the Juventus kit gets in my head just because it's this storied club with so much history. Um, and then Calcio A, just, there's, there's an aura about the Calcio A side that just make you... It's just an imposing kit to come against, if that makes sense. So, 1-0. Do we get, uh, do we get a little bit lucky? Nice little run from Suarez. What do we do here? No, nope. questionable call. Possibly could have been a pen. Doesn't need to be because Bale is there for the cleanup and aisle fish. 1-1 with the equalizer in the 50th minute. Man bun OP. Suarez over the top. With this formation, 4-3-1-2. Over the top, I spam him. Ronaldo, low driven. Bottom right hand corner of the net, 2-1. But don't get too confident, boys. Never, ever get too confident in weekend league. Because it can come back to bite you. 70... Eighth minute, if I'm reading that correctly, and I don't know how Icardi puts that away, but he just absolutely slots it. Okay, thank God. I thought maybe the recording had stopped. Um, just slots it away. His Icardi. I mean, what else do you need to know? In the last 10 minutes of match, he's down. I'm, I'm up 2-1. Don't get confident, because it can be taken away like that. 14 shots, 11 on target. Probably deserved to go ahead. <coughs> <coughs> Probably deserved to go ahead and win that one. Coming up against Musa. Probably the cheapest, most OP player you're going to come up against in Weekend League. Uh, coupled with Shakiri. Oh, fuck. This was the Shakiri match. All right. Right off the bat, six minutes in. Questionable call. Was kind of like a glitchy way to concede uh, a penalty, but he does put it away. Beautiful, beautiful pen by Martial. 
1-0, and this game was ugly from the start. Four, uh, 15 minutes in, 1-0, uh, and look, look at his Shakiri. His dribbling is just insane. Thought he was going to go up 2-0 there. Uh, bail over the top. Dude, honestly, more often than not, that is, uh, that is a goal, but the chip just didn't go my way. Almost looked like it went through the net. Looked like it went in and then through the net. Could have been... Could have been a goal right there, and then of course uh, Moose is there to clean it up. 2-0, and I think things just get really, really ugly here. And again, if you guys are noticing something that I'm doing in my gameplay that's causing me to concede, let me know. Score a nice little banger there with Dembele. 3-1, still plenty of time left. Tried a lot of the near post, and then uh, towards the end of the matches, I believe I was doing some stuff. Nice little goal with Vieira there, a little bit lucky to score it. Uh, I was doing, I was calling my, uh, I was calling someone from the box to come towards the corner and I got a bunch of goals that way. So I'm not sure if I like the uh, the near post, uh, the near post corner technique or calling the man, but we lose ourselves another match there. 3-2 EA Script FC, again, 14 shots, 11 to target, near identical stats to the last match. That's two losses in a row, kind of shit. And then in match number, I don't even know which one this is, we come up against 84 Walcott, 87 uh, third and form Lukaku, Torre Erickson, by the way, shout out to the AFCON. Six matches played, only one win. That's kind of crazy, but we are on our way to a win in this one. 1-0, one Suarez puts away his chance, low driven. As you guys can tell, as I go on more in the weekend league, I am putting more of those, uh, those in, uh, the low driven, the low driven shots from inside the box. 1-1, one, one, he goes up as well. Actually, not a, I'm not even sure what happens in this one. He has five shots on target, I've got one, but sometimes one is all you need, and... Wow, how did he not put the... Dude, I think this is one... If I do end up winning this one, I think this is probably the one I did not deserve to win at all. Yeah. Erickson, anytime I've come up against him, dude, FIFA Viking is deadly. 2-1. Uh, Boateng. Yeah, I think I rage quit that one. 21 wins, 3 matches remaining. Dybala, another Riccardi. Snake, uh, Dele Alli. Uh, Sissoko, he's got Kante. Uh, red kits. Do I remember anything about the red kit match? I think I, I think I dominated this one. Questionable call right there. Possibly could have been a pen. And then Icardi. No. Hold on. I, this might be a comeback. This might be a comeback win, boys. M94. One pound fish. Bale. Suarez. Touch perfect, as Marshall would say. M94. Freaking banger. And then... Is it a header? Oh, the... Headers, dude. Neuer, nice effort. Like he tries to get up. Dude, Dybala is so dangerous. Four shots on target for him, and he is storming down the pitch. 54th minute, a cardio over to Dybala. Dybala is not going to miss that. And I think I'm so close. Uh, I mean, I think gold one was out of reach at this point, but I still wanted to finish strong, boys. Like you never want to be disheartened. Even if even if 25 wins is out of reach, you still want to finish strong because you have to think monthlies. And we get ourselves 3-2 in the 90th, but I think it's a little bit too late. And then the second to last match coming up against another Dybala. Vieira, Suarez, beautiful nice little pass, and then the low driven. Right up the middle too, not even, didn't even pick a side, right up the middle, uh, puts it past his keeper, and then I think we get a goal off this one as well. But, uh, yeah, just crazy. Nice little dribbling with Ronaldo, was a little bit more patient here, just because I knew gold one was out of reach, and we just wanted to finish well for monthly. I believe you have to average 24.3 wins per weekend to get the 97 wins, which is good for monthly awards. Cause a rage quit there, 8.4 for Bale. Uh, nice little game from Suarez. I think we have 22 or 23 here. Final match, and it's striker in form Ben Yedder. Martial, Rooney up top. Kante, he's got Emrakan, and then he's got Matic, Bailly, and then Smalling as his keepers, uh, as his uh, as his center backs. Suarez, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, 26th minute. Almost a chance there with Sanchez. Unlucky not to put it away. Bale was just in this guy's box the entire match. And there you have it. Weekend league goal. T typical, typical weekend league goal. But I think we finish it off with a nice little bit of flair. Stupid decision on his part not to clear with Valencia. Bale is running through on that. Do not, I wouldn't exactly call that trickery. And he finesses it right past the keeper. 2-0. Not sure if that causes the rage quit. Five shots, three on target. Zero shots on target for him was dominating. But then as you do in weekend league, you can see the stupid goal. Conte, of all people, is running through. Does a nice little dive. Uh, cheeky dive celebration. Would be interested to know how you actually do that one. And then Bale... Low driven. That goal right there probably sums up what worked for me in weekend league. Um, but by and large, just choked on some games, just wasn't patient. Caused the rage quit. 9.4 for Bale, 6.6 for Ronaldo. Not a great last match for Ronaldo. And then Suarez with the assist. So we get ourselves a nice little 3-1 victory as the final one. Going out on a momentum boost. Seven shots, five on target. 
and that is good for 23 wins. So we are almost on average, had 25 wins last week, 23 wins this week, so we are still on track for Elite, which is the goal. Obviously, Gold 1 is the goal every weekend, but we did get ourselves uh, 23 wins. So like I said, on average, we're good for 97 wins uh, for the month. So if we keep this up, we will be getting ourselves those Elite monthly rewards, which would be sweet, which is 11 informs, which would be absolutely awesome. But that's Episode 1 of Foot Champions Final 15. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. And again, don't be too harsh on me. This is my first ever post-com. Um, I think I'm... I'm really prefer to do the live comms, but uh, the post com was an interesting, nice little uh, way to mix things up. Actually, it was really interesting to see how I played watching it back instead of uh, doing everything live. But if you guys did enjoy the episode, if you guys want to see me do this every week on a Monday, hit that like button. Like I said, let's try and aim for something crazy like 15,000 likes if you guys do want to see it. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. If you guys do want to interact with me on Instagram and Twitter, those links can be found in the description below. But like I said, boys, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Till next time, tschüss, later. A day.